Inspector Spooner. Little Lord Adrian. What can the village Bobby do for you? Are you trying to suck up to me, or are you pulling my leg? You choose. Have you arrested Tom? He vanished into the woods. We've started a search. By the way, uh, the necklace that Tom got so wound up about, did you ever consider that it might be stolen? From an old people's home, for example? From an old people's home? In Ipswich? Just an idea. This black ball that was stolen from the museum... You want to give it back? That'd be very nice, of course. So, it hasn't turned up again? No. Have you seen anything like this before? Something similar. In the cells on the wall. There are supposed to be burial mounds in this area. Do you happen to know where any of them are? You've just inherited a castle. Now you want to move again? Couldn't you give me just one decent answer, please? Ah, well, if it means so much to you. No, I don't know where you might find a burial mound. Might you possibly be able to, to give me a tiny bit of information? Really? I can't wait. You searched Miss Valley's house, didn't you? Did you come across any kind of archaeological notes or, or drawings while you were at it? Zack? Hmm? Shouldn't you been off on the beat long ago? You know, Adrian, I get the feeling that our, let's call it a relationship, has got rather bogged down of late. You're constantly coming to me with some new request. It's always me who's supposed to give you something. I'm thinking it's time we changed all that. Would you like to come with me to see Doc Winterbottom? Do some couple therapy? Nice idea, but I've got something else planned. As you perhaps already noticed, I sometimes tend towards making quite hasty judgments. That's one of the reasons they redeployed me here to Willow Creek. I actually imagine my life as a police inspector somewhat differently. Pursuits, shootouts, explosions. <laughs> You're looking into my very soul. But without some clear evidence of success under me belt, I'm not going to be getting out of this dump all that quickly. And what with your circumstances having sadly changed somewhat? What's supposed to have changed there? I'm innocent now, just like I always was. But now your nobility as you have so strikingly noticed. And here in good old England, that is a good reason to treat things with more of a feather-like touch. Or to put it another way, an error in such a case would definitely not be good for my career. H have I got this right? You're crapping yourself because I own a castle now. Perhaps it's still not too late to forget the whole thing and close the case. But to do that, I have to present the judge with something meaningful. Is that a polite request for a confession? <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, no, you misunderstood me. The thing with Tom and that Phil is already a good start. Also, Murray has corrected his statement and given you an alibi for the Miss Valley murder. Seems to like you a lot, that bloke. But there's still this Lewis and Angelina woman. They're officially missing, but someone who's missing also can be a perpetrator. You do see that. Ah, <sighs> we're speaking the same language at last. What's happening with Miss Valley's house now? Uh, have you found anything there? We only found some photos of you, and we also took a few other things relevant to the case. If you think you can find something there that might bring this case to a close, then I'll let you have a look around the house. Are we partners, then? Not the expression I'd use. Hey, but this conversation never took place, okay? Zack will go with you, and I want to be informed about everything. Of course, Inspector. Goodbye. Fare thee well, my lord. Can I ask you something briefly? Hmm? Uh, 
the inspector said that it, it wouldn't be a problem if I wanted to have a look at Miss Valley's house for myself, but that you should come along to keep an eye on me. If that's what he said, I'll go and get the keys. Mm. Have fun with the search. Just tell me when you want to go. What are you up to? Maybe there's a secret trap door under the rug. What a load of nonsense. Old newspapers and a book with English children's songs. That's no use to me. Seems Miss Valley wasn't just scared of the Gordons. Miss Valley's brother, Vic. She has quite a lot of pictures of him, but that's no surprise. She was pretty obsessed with his death, and particularly with his murderer, Samuel Gordon, my father. A wooden rocking chair. The backrest doesn't look particularly comfortable. She must have really loved her brother. Anything against me taking a piece of coal? I don't think anybody would have anything against that. Crockery with folkloric designs. Experts like me call them painted plates. I think they just don't have oil or gas in Willow Creek yet. Stay down here, please. What? Why? Maybe there's something worth looking at up there. Hmm. Miss Valley kept all of her papers down here. We've searched through everything upstairs and found nothing except a couple of photos of her brother Vic. Ugh, oh, all right. An empty notepad. What are you doing there? I just wanted to take a piece of paper to take some uh, notes. Hmm. Newspaper clippings about Vic's murder. I can't imagine how anyone could murder a child so brutally. Now this could be interesting. Miss Valley's book collection. Let's take a look. English history and stories, Camelot and the Holy Grail, huh. from William the Conqueror to Magna Carta. Aha, a folder from a university. Constable, can I take a look at this folder here? That's just books about science and the like. Was that a yes? Okay by me, but don't take too long. Black ball. Hmm. If I'm lucky, then nobody else will have found it either. Now all I have to do is find out exactly where this burial mound is. significant words in these research papers 
from which I can work out the exact location. I think three words will do it. Earth samples from the marsh. There's only one here. It's a blank piece of paper at first sight, but I could make out a weak imprint. Unfortunately, I can only make it out and not read it. Hmm, a little piece of coal. This trick has always worked before. That has to be the same letter as the one I found in the shack. You can still read a bit of it. In case we are unable to... Uh, the evil... We fail in our goal and the order never existed. Already sacrificed. That was never my intention. If the cursed one... Then... Oh, now it's looking very faint. Can't be allowed to find any trace that might lead to us. I get it. This is Miss Valley announcing that the order should be disbanded should anything go wrong. That explains a lot. Now I've got something I can work with Sector I 3 in the marsh. I've been round there already, when I was looking for the portals. And there's a place where there are lots of small animal bones. I must be able to find that. Zack, I've seen enough. Let's go. Please, put the folder away again, and then we can go. <laughs> 